All right, uh, the Kyle Rittenhouse trial, uh, a, a busy afternoon, and it, it looks like the morning was spent largely with the defense laying out the scenario that this is a good kid, maybe shouldn't have been there, uh, certainly with what happened, but that he didn't go there to make trouble, but to be somebody that was trying to provide help to the community uh, and mm -hmm. safety and, and first aid. Showing uh, his mom right there, Cal yes. his mom. And, and now the prosecution mm -hmm. Uh, trying to break apart that argument bit by bit. Right, yeah. Let's bring in uh, Thane Rosenbaum, I believe, who is standing by. And uh, Thane, hopefully you can help us go through some of what we heard uh, transpiring. There's, there's Thane. Uh, Thane, thank you for being here. Uh, emotional moments um, in the testimony earlier today where we saw Kyle Rittenhouse completely break down on the stand to the point where the judge handed him a bottle of water. Lots of folks surprised that he did take the stand at all. Were you, and do you think that this was necessary? You're quite right, Heather. I think everyone is surprised because, you know, they were, I would think the defense probably thought they were already ahead. You know, they've had some good days already at the trial. Uh, and so it was really a, a, a full out risk because he could implode on, cross-examination. That's what we're seeing now. He's not imploding at all, but that's what the risk is. Uh, but of course, the defendant has the choice, even against uh, advice of counsel, to say, hey, I want to speak to the jury and I want them to mm. see that I did not come there to create mischief. There was no intent to kill. I felt threatened for my life and that's why I defended myself. So he clearly, and when he described the moment of shooting, he was clearly emotionally overwhelmed by it. And I think the judge rightly said, let's take a break, here's some water, as if that, those were genuine tears, the kind of tears that might come from a, a post-traumatic memory. And when we saw the prosecution try to uh, impeach this witness, and by that breaking down the argument that uh, he had been making, um, he went along some uh, with some uh, a route that the judge clearly did not like, and the defense looks like it's even requested a mistrial with prejudice. 